say the, my slides on the screen? Yeah. The first one. First of all, <coughs> I would like to, to say thank you for parents who make effort for their kids that have the capability to be fluent English. Thanks for the parents. Because English is not only a language. Speaking English is a tool, an international tool. And this is a very efficient tool. That's where I learned English. At the mechanic school somewhere south of France. And, uh, well, the first lesson was form affirmative. The cat is an animal, repeat after me. <laughs> so everyone said, the cat is an animal, the cat is an animal. So form interrogative. Is the cat an animal? Is the cat an animal? Ebe, ebe yes. That's, that's where I learned English. So please excuse me. <laughs> so, next one. Yeah, and then I became doctor. I've been surgeon for two years, and then I decided to go to the North Pole. No. Do you have to do something? Because I go very fast. Yeah. <laughs> so I did many expeditions, sailing around the world, Mount Everest expeditions. Yeah, and then I, I, I went to the North Pole. When I was 40, I decided to do my own expedition going to the North Pole. It was in 86, before GPS, before telephone. So it was, I was solo for two months. It's, it's made, made a lot, I made a lot of effort and I decided organizing the expedition will be my job. So next one. So that's the North Pole, go ahead. Yes, yeah, when you go to the North Pole, is in the middle of the ocean. When you go to the North Pole, you walk on the frozen ocean. And uh, the, the oasis move permanently. If you, want to, if you want to organize the next one at the North Pole, we will have to move. The ice drift, sometimes the ice drift for uh, around some day, 10 kilometers per day, depending on the wind. So the ice is, is sort of, is moving always. You have high pressure ridges like this one. It's not easy, go ahead. Yeah, sometimes we have to jump on the ice pressure ridges in order to, to decide where to go. It's so difficult, you have. You have openly, that's a dangerous thing, because if you go through, you go in the water, and, and it's difficult to come back. <laughs> Next one. So I were, yeah, this is an image of life because uh, it is not at the South Pole. There is nothing at the pole, because the ice drifts. So the first one was probably, the American period. He put the US flag, but a few, hours, a few hours after, the flag was not at the pole. So when I took this picture, well, four days after, I was not at the pole. But I'm so proud to be the first Frenchman at the North Pole. And another thing is, I have Argus Beacon. Argus Beacon, you don't know where you are. But the National Space Center, they knew where I was. And I was the first man located precisely, precisely at, the, at the North Pole. That's why I'm very proud. Next one, please. <laughs> and then I crossed Antarctica. On the way to the North Pole, I met a guy, the US, the Will Steer. I was in my tent, it was 6 o'clock, and I listened to some noise. I said, well, yeah, that's the polar bear. I don't have a flag, I don't have a flag, nothing. So I think, that's not fair, that's dark. So I went out of the tent and I, I saw a, the American expedition, five people with dog sleds. And Will Stiger came toward me. Yeah. I, I, I jumped on top of the ice pressure ridges and then Will Stiger showed me. So it's, you are young, 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 you are Will, yes. And we decided to spend time together and Will gave me his phone number and he said, Please, we call and we could organize an expedition to the South Pole after this one. I said, please, we finish this one first in our sport and then we will see. <laughs> so we met each other, he, he lived in Minnesota somewhere, and we decided to cross Antarctica. Next one, please. 
Yeah, we made an international expedition. That's very interesting. Very interesting international expedition. It was in 1989. In 1989, it was the end of the Antarctic Treaty, the first 30 years. And we decided to be the ambassador of the Antarctic Treaty. That's why we, we went there, we crossed, we had a uh, U.S. will speaker, Boyarski, Victor, from, before he was from USSR, at the end he was Russian. And uh, <laughs> Jeff Summer from Great Britain, before the Brexit, that's it. No, no, no. Kim Dao from China. Kim Dao became a very famous in China. He's a minister of a uh, something very high level. So. And, uh, and the Japanese kids of so we, we crossed Antarctica. We have been invited at the end by all the president. And we proved the idea that the Arctic Treaty must be uh, put on. Next slide. So this is a fun, wonderful image. It took seven months to cross Antarctica by those yeah. we are We are a sort of hero. <laughs> <laughs> so this is. Uh, I'm in a mirror <laughs> with the red uh, button. And the, yeah, this is interesting picture of all the flag, of course. But what, what you can see is all the flag in the back, the flag in the back. Because that's at the South Pole. The South Pole is where the, the meridians of all the country come together. And there is a, a, a circle of flags from all the country who signed the Antarctic Treaty. They always are. That's the place where the meridians come together on the continent. You don't need visa, you need nothing. This is a continent for peace and science by the Antarctic Treaty. That's the only UN treaty that the United Nations signed. Next one. Well, I went to the, I, I built this vessel and I did many, many polar expeditions you had. Interesting. <laughs> That's where we, we spent the winter, winter ice, we spent the winter. Well, I've been this one. I drink for four, four months on the Arctic Ocean in order to, uh, to make some measurements about the climate change. Next one. Yeah. And, uh, and the last one I flew across the Arctic Ocean. It was in, 19, in uh, 2010. The idea was to fly from Switzerland Island to North Pole and then Alaska. But the flag, the wind, pushed me towards Siberia. And it was a uh, prohibited zone. And I arrived there. And uh, hopefully the, the French ambassador in Moscow called the authority and said, there is a Frenchman coming with a balloon, please. You <laughs> <laughs> don't send a screen, you know? And uh, because I arrived in the prohibited zone. So I spent three days talking with the KGB. And then uh, <laughs> and that's it. Okay. So what we what we happened from what we learned sorry about that from the from the polar region they made sample sample doubt is that okay sample they made sample and in the sample you, you get uh, ice about one million years you know very old ice and when you analyze the small bubble of air inside you can have the composition of the air during the last one million years. And you can see in the past the climate has been warm, cold, warm, cold, because the earth doesn't turn very well. Next one. That's what we call Milankovic's cycle. We know that the earth doesn't turn very well, you know, it changed. And so that's why we have a glacial period. Water. And now we are going to warm slowly, but back, please, back to the last one. But what we can see at the end of the right side, you, you can see the, the, the velocity. I mean, the, the CO2 in the in the air increase very, very fast since 150 years. That's the signature of the human uh, impact on the climate. Next, next one. What are the temperature and sea level rise? Everywhere. There's sea level rise 3.2 millimeter per day. Every day, every year, no, sorry. Wow. No. <laughs> so uh, you it's a lot. Anyway, it's a lot. 
3.2 millimeters per year. You know. So the sea level rise and the, the temperature of the of the, the, the ocean rise. Please, next one. So what's happened in the Torrid region? The sea level rise and the temperature rise. So the you have erosion of the water uh, under the, uh, the the floating ice, of course, the ice. You know what we call ice shell platform. So more and more the icebergs are produced, produced by the Antarctica because of sea level rise and the temperature of the ocean rise. So that's why you have an erosion and more and more ice, uh, Antarctica lose ice. And the Greenland in the north and Antarctica too is so You understand that? Next one. That's what's happened. Massive glass of ice. Next. This is the Antarctic Ocean, the ocean which surrounds the Antarctic continent. It's not very well known, but do you, we know one thing. This new surface of cold water is uh, the principal carbon sink of CO2, because the CO2 is so in the cold water. But we don't know really the efficiency of this. Uh, ocean, you understand that it's a vital Earth climate company, but nobody knows the efficiency. So the next project, I have another expedition. Yeah, I'm younger than many of you. <laughs> no, it's not. It's about a bit fast. Say <laughs> never. I made a mistake. Le, la phrase en français, c'est « Je suis jeune depuis plus longtemps que vous. <laughs> » You know? Yes. yes. You agree? Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, the next expedition that's what we did. What kind of vessel... Yes, it's good. Excellent. What kind of vessel can face this, uh, this ocean? We're going to drift around in Torica between 50 and 55 south. We call that roaring 50, you know, it's windy, big waves. So we have to decide, the, the, the principle is to have a, a, a long pipe, I mean, it's easy to, with the, the, the images, go ahead, please. What kind of vessel can face? This is an image I took it in the roaring 50s, you know, it's very windy and the waves are very huge waves. So what, this is what we're going to, yes, please, we, we're going to design a special vessel to, to stay there for two years. The next one. Yeah, that is, it's a video. Wait a minute. Put one more time. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to build this for our part. You see, the, the, uh, this move even even um, you see this is at all very very stable. It's we, we have 80 meter. Well, we're going to carry that sea. It's 100 meter long. It's it's not a it's not a toy. Huh? It's, it's, it's a real. 100 meter long is 1,000 tons. We're going to carry that sea, and then we will balance. That means move slowly in the vertical position. Slowly. And then, yeah, so we will have a six wind mill. You know, this is not a missile, this is a AUV. You can see the person on top. So, the person on top gave you a scale with the size of this, uh, the polar. You can see the person on top. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes? It's, uh, we will live in a small cabin, it's a 20 meter high, and this is the dish that we've been going to drift for two years, uh, like this. And uh, the crew will be removed every two months. It will be three sailors, four engineers on board. We are sort of, you can stop. We will, there is another one, yeah. We, we will be like an international space station, that's me few people and a lot of sensors on board. We have a huge scientific program, first of all, to measure 
how CO2 is dissolved in this cold water. Secondly, very deep there is a silence. We have no engine, no generators, so it's a silent vessel. With hydrophone, we will do a census of my life by acoustic. And then we will take some sample in order to uh, analyze the sample and see uh, if, the, if we are, what's happened there in this water, if there is some uh, plastic, microplastic, pollutant, etc. What I would like to say to those who, these young people, you know, I started as a medical school and uh, I became a medical doctor and then, and then a church surgeon and then I decided to, to organize my own life. And what I have to say, persevere. This is the major thing, persevere. Sometimes you feel it difficult, but keep it your dream. We have not a lot of dreams in the life. If you have one, maybe you have one. When you decide to go there, to persevere. Another thing, explore. Be explorer. I mean, not like me, because uh, this is my life but exploring your, in the way you will decide to go. Always try to make, to be better, to explore. What I wrote, to become an explorer today, yeah. Be committed to explore today to become, c'est pas moi qui l'ai traduit, the trainers of the whole world. That's important. And the last one I, I found it today, any odyssey, a life is sort of odyssey. Take your life as an odyssey. Any odyssey starts with boldness. Boldness, you understand this word? This uh, audacious. Yeah, be audacious, please. Thank you.